Hello, in this video, we'll talk about Burkitt lymphoma, which is a non Hodgkin lymphoma. Generally, it affects the B cell, which is one type of immune cell. B cells over proliferate and divide rapidly and they become cancerous. Burkitt lymphoma is associated with impaired immunity and it is fatal if, if it is not treated in the early age. It is recognized as one of the fastest growing cancer in humans, so it is really, really aggressive. Burkitt lymphoma is named after British surgeon Denny Burkitt, and he found this phenomena in African children around 1956. Point to be noted that in African child, the Burkitt lymphoma is majorly associated with Epstein-Barr virus infection. Though the mechanism is unclear, this is a nice clinical observation. Let us quickly revise the fact associated with Burkitt lymphoma. So Burkitt lymphoma is associated with impaired immunity. It is one of the most aggressive cancer forms in human and Burkitt lymphoma affects the B cell. And its characteristic facial feature which is found as a swollen jaw is characteristic of Burkitt lymphoma found in Africa. Now the key player of the Burkitt lymphoma is the B cell. So the B cells eventually give rise to plasma cells, which is a differentiated form of B cell. And that secretes antibody that helps us to protect against several pathogens. B cells are developed from the bone marrow. So they are born in the bone marrow. They eventually migrate to the lymph node. And in the lymph node, they proliferate forms forming the germinal center. This basic developmental feature would help us to understand the pathophysiology underlying Burkitt lymphoma. So let's look at the genetic anomaly and how it is associated with the cellular level of defects in Burkitt's lymphoma. So let's talk about the genetic anomaly first. The genetic anomaly is associated with a translocation event that is happening between chromosomes 8 and chromosome 14. So this translocation leads to movement of the CMYC gene to the IgG heavy chain locus. So IgG heavy chain is highly expressed in the B cell because B cells express those Ig receptors on their surface. That is why enhancer of the Ig is highly highly active in the B cell. Now CMYC gene is normally associated with cellular growth and cellular division. So obviously if these CMYC gene is influenced heavily then it can ultimately change the cellular fate towards a carcinogenic state right so let us try to understand what really happens in normal situation cmic is under its own enhancers influence so a balanced amount of cmic transcript would be generated which would eventually give cmic protein and this is important for normal cellular growth and development but under burkitt lymphoma cmic gene expression enhanced several fold because it has now located in a close proximity of Ig enhancer. That is why several times the CMYC, and CMYC transcript would be produced as a result overproduction of CMYC would be there and this leads to division and proliferation of the B cell. And these, this, this ultimately leads to the malignant transformation of the B cell. Now, Burkitt's lymphoma is diagnosed or one of the diagnoses is the swollen lymph node that can be visualized under the jaw or in the neck region or in other parts of the body. Now, in the biopsy, the characteristic appearance of the Burkitt lymphoma is the starry sky pattern. And that particular starry sky was a painting of Van Gogh where you can see bright stars appearing in the dark night sky. Here, if you look at the section, look at these histological sections, you can see there are bright patches of white in an otherwise purple background. And these are the starry sky pattern. These white regions are macrophages which have engulfed some carcinogenic cells and debris of that. So that is why this is the characteristic pattern or diagnosis of Burkitt's lymphoma. 
Now let us talk about the classification of Burkitt's lymphoma. It is subclassified into endemic, which is African version of it. Primarily, it affects children of age 4 to 7 and it is associated with Epstein-Barr virus infection. Now there is a non-African version as well, which is sporadic and this is constituting the US or Western European versions of the Burkitt's lymphoma. Globally, it accounts for 1 to 2 percent of the adult lymphoma cases. The third type is immunodeficiency associated. Generally, it is common in patients who are undergoing SCID or AIDS. And 30 to 40 percent of non Hodgkin lymphoma in HIV patients is Burkitt's lymphoma. So, Burkitt lymphoma is highly aggressive, but at the same time, it is treatable if the treatment starts in early ages. So the key challenge in Burkitt lymphoma treatment is the diagnosis part. If the diagnosis is early enough with proper chemotherapy and other sometimes bone marrow transplantation, it can be cured. So as per summary, we have looked at the cellular and molecular basis of Burkitt's lymphoma. We looked at the diagnosis of Burkitt's lymphoma and we also explored some amount of treatment options in Burkitt's lymphoma. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram, Facebook or in Twitter. My ID is Arpan Paricha and you can uh, support my channel in Patreon. So be my Patreon. And if you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and let me know how you are liking my videos. If you have a suggestion, also put it in the comment. Thank you.